What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Aislevane's Men's 3D Print Swimming Trunks. So it came in a little plastic bag, and in it we have the trunks, and it came with a little tag that tells you how to wash it pretty much is on the back right here. Also, if you need a better, like bigger print, it's also on the bag itself, how to print, uh, or how to wash, my bad. Um, but yeah, let me go and set those to the side. So as you can see, I bought three trunks, pretty much to show. And the reason I got three was so I could go over any color differences I see, or um, any like issues I see in any of these. And that's just because if I have three, it gives me a good sample size to just see are all of them going to be the same quality? Will all of them be printed well? Because I have had other clothes that are 3D print and sometimes the coloring just looks really bad from one to another. And another reason I got these two specifically is because they're the exact same except for the base. So the base on this one is black and the base on this one over here is white. So this way we can see if there's any color differences based on the matching pattern. So now I'm just gonna go and start talking about the products. So it is summertime, which means it's beach time. And if you're going to the beach, you're gonna need some swimming trunks. The swimming trunks are pretty nice. To start, they're actually really thin. This is something I love because it keeps from absorbing too much water and weighing it down. So I'll go ahead and lift up one and it's kind of hard to tell, but it, these are pretty much the thinnest swimming trunks I've actually ever owned. Most of mine are kind of thick and they say, oh, you know, it's from the mesh and all this and that, all these side pockets. And I don't really care about side pockets. So if I'm wearing swimming trunks, what am I going to put in my pockets? Honestly, it's not like I'm going to put my phone in there. Um, maybe to keep my goggles, but it does have two normal pockets. The ones that go right here on each one and one on the other side, of course. And that's all you kind of need for swimming trunks, to be honest. But yeah, I do love how thin they are because they do dry really quickly. It also has mesh, mesh lining on the inside, so I'll go ahead and show the inside of one. It has mesh lining on the inside as well, so it's not like it doesn't have any mesh lining. Because obviously you're not going to wear your underwear when you're wearing swimming trunks, so that's what the mesh lining is pretty much there for. But yeah, the material is also really soft, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, it feels really nice. It feels kind of slick and soft, which I really like about it. Um, I chose two mediums and a large so I can get an idea of sizing. I usually wear medium and maybe sometimes a small depending on the brand, sometimes a large depending on the brand. So but usually I go for medium. So I went ahead and got two mediums to see if the sizing is the same for both. And then I got one large just in case the medium was too small so I could see if the uh, large was the right size. Well, the mediums fit just fine. Um, the large fits fine as well. Of course, it's a little bit bigger on me, but the mediums fit like most other clothing that I get. Usually the only time where sizing's an issue is maybe if I buy Adidas, where sometimes I wear a small instead of a medium. But otherwise, this works really well. Um, it does have drawstrings so you can tighten it if needed as well. So if you do get, I suggest you go for your usual size because if it is slightly larger or slightly smaller, I think it'll still fit no problem. If it's slightly larger too, we have the drawstring so you can tighten it up with no problem. They're also really good length. They come down to my knee and I'm about 5'7". Now, I want to look at the pattern. Uh, as I mentioned, that's why I got three of these pretty much, other than the fact that I actually do really like these. But I'm just going to go ahead and get down here so I can talk a little bit about the pattern. So. Let's first talk about this one right here. So I don't see any distortions in the color. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way completely. So I don't see any type of distortion in the coloring. I don't really see any issues with it. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom in a bit too. But um, yeah, so if you look at the pattern itself, it is a nice, very vibrant color pattern, which is usually something I see a lot of on the beach at swimming pools nowadays, is like people wearing more vibrant colors because it is summertime. Um, so on this piece specifically, the colors aren't going to have rigid lines. They're not going to be very strict 
flat lines. They're gonna, the colors kind of blend together, which is what you want for a pattern like this one. The back right here, as you can see, coloring looks nice. It does have stitching right through here. The coloring on the stitching though is very hard to notice unless you're really close up to someone's butt, but I highly doubt you're gonna be doing that. And then I'm just gonna lay this out for the front. The front is also very nice. The pattern overall looks really nice. Let me go ahead and zoom out a bit. The strings on it also match really well because they are just black with a little bit of red in it. And I feel like that works really well for these really colorful swimming trunks because they don't stand out too much, which is something you don't really want happening anyways. You don't want them standing out too much. So yeah, th these swimming trunks specifically, I love the coloring on it. The colors aren't rigid on it, which like I said, is a good thing. You want it to kind of blend together. So let me go and grab the other two. So here we have the white one and the black version of this exact same one. So for this one, you are gonna notice the lines are a little bit more strict on it. It's kind of easier to see the distinction between one color to another, as in for the base. So to be more, to make it a little easier to understand what I'm saying, pretty much the black is gonna, whenever you have a color on the black, it's gonna be easy to tell where the lines are for it versus inside the actual like paint splatter pattern, the gradient is very undistinguishable. It's very clear. It's very nice looking. It's a very good gradient. It's not choppy. So it does do a really good job of that. So now I want to go, well actually I'll go ahead and show you the back real quick as well. Back looks really nice on it as well. The paint splatter looks, just looks nice to me, honestly. String on this one also is, blends in very well since it is a black string with a little bit of red in it. Same for this one, it does stand out a little bit more since it is a black string and this one doesn't really have as much black in the short colors in it anywhere. Um, but it still looks just fine on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the color on it, the paint splatter on it, and see if there was any differences that I could see any distortions. When I first looked at it, I'm just gonna go and say I didn't see any. So let's look at these two paint, paint uh, splatter patterns real quick. And we can see if they look pretty similar. So of course this one to you might look a little darker and this one might look a little lighter. That's more of your brain playing a little trick on you because of the back background, background on this one versus the white background on this one. That's the only reason one might look darker than the other. But if you're looking straight at the center of this and the center of this, you'll notice it does blend together pretty well right there. The gradient looks exactly the same to me from what I can tell. Honestly, color from one short to another, considering the only difference should have been the base, it looks like the only difference is the base. It doesn't look like there were any issues with the printing. It looks like the quality of these overall are just really nice. They got printed very well. So if you're in like, if you're in the market looking for some swimming trunks, I would highly recommend these. As I've mentioned, they do dry quickly. The coloring on them are nice. I've washed them already a couple times and they don't really fade away or anything like that, which they're not supposed to. They actually, uh, the material itself is made to prevent from fading or cracking, unlike some other uh, 3D print versions of these types of shorts. Overall, I do like these shorts and I'm happy with all three of the designs. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Link to this product is in the description below. Be sure to check out TubeBuddy below as well. Thanks for watching.